All right, with our series of artist interviews. This is Buck Kieschel, Kieschel Fine Art, the house of Hauhalan, Nebraska landscaping icon. Hal, how you doing? How are you? Good, good. All right, I always find it interesting. Okay, what, what's hanging in your living room before you make it down to your studio? Okay, sure. <clears throat> Uh, this is a printmaker from Philadelphia, uh, Wester Johnson. Cool. Uh, oh, well, that's Dan Howard. That's an, that's a, that's an old Dan Howard. How? What year would that be? Like uh, 60s, 80s. 70s, 80s? 1980. 80. Yeah. That's cool. We do love it. We do. Oh, Dan, he's a master. Um, he, he said he did this uh, he was on sabbatical. We're at uh, Kensington, uh, Kensington Cathedral. Nice, nice. All right, where are the maths back here? This is from Nepal. My friend who uh, got this from. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. That's a John Ramondi, the guy who did the uh, sculpture at Epley Airfield. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's before he went organic. That's for Wonderful. All right, let's let's go down to studio of. I love these old Dan Howards. You <clears throat> have my allergy. I guess my voice is tiny. Yeah. That's all right. <clears throat> now. Pathway. It's all right. It's all right. I love seeing like the the easels and the workspaces of the artists and kind of the work. Wow, got some great pieces coming along here. How? This is the commission for the O'Neillers. That's yep, yep. That is looking fabulous. Now, okay. Now a little bit about the man. Like, tell me, growing up, where'd you grow up? Um, on a farm by Ord, Nebraska. What What did your parents do? They were farmers. N nice. Now, how many how many brothers and sisters did you have? I had one sister who passed away. Oh, okay. okay. Now, did your parents like encourage your art career from the time <laughs> you were young? Like, what, what was your yeah. first like? What was your first? I mean, growing up in Ord, Nebraska, I mean, I can't imagine that you know you had a lot of art outlets as a young boy. What, what when was your first? Uh... Um. Well, when I went to college, I went to Ord, uh, well, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. Where'd you go to college? Business college. Yeah, very nice. Tom Osborne. And uh, I guess they took a few art classes, but yeah, this is it. Yeah. The test came, you mentioned my parents. Right. And I came back home and said I wanted to major in art. Right. <laughs> my, my parents wanted to probably wish me a doctor or whatever. Right, so, right. You know, they got an artist. You know. Great. Now, where, where did you go from Hastings College? Like, what? what what your earliest paintings? Tell me about them. Oh. Like what year are we talking? Uh, first, first year in college is nineteen fifty-seven. Okay, and what were you painting your first year in college? Uh, I tried a couple of landscapes actually, and uh, uh, we did a couple of portraits. Cool. Uh, cool. And, um, then uh, <clears throat> in my junior year, we had a new instructor come in uh, from Pennsylvania. Really cool guy, and he introduced me to abstract, and I just took off like that. I loved abstract. Um, and I worked even into grad school with primarily abstract. And then, um, every time I came back home, I thought, Oh, something about the earth and sky relationship here that kept bugging me. So, it eventually came to this. Now, I mean, you're best known as a landscape artist, but I mean, you've really had several different kind of series throughout your career. <laughs> I mean, from everything from, you know, truck stops to reflect the, the reflective series, all, all of these, you know, it's, it, how, how do you continue to reinvent yourself as an artist? Um, somewhat of a wanderer, I guess. Uh, um, when I look through a series, um, I can't go past through that to another piece. Uh, some years ago, I did a series of abstracted skies, and I had a gallery in Chicago that was carrying them. And then one day I got a call saying, we just sold your last one, can you do some more? So I went up to the studio and nothing. 
Hmm. It was gone. That was it. Yeah. So I think she moved on to something else. It keeps keeps the blood flowing. Can, yeah. can we look at like what you're working on, like back in the oh, sure, yeah. the the outer rooms? You've always kind of been a morning artist, right? Like, what's your what's your, what's your daily routine? Um, you down here by six thirty or seven. Yeah, and that doesn't mean I'm alive and working by that time, but right. I could get cranked up by then. Yeah. And most, I mean, your your paintings are they're primarily morning, sort of. You know, I mean, it's it's uh, sort of the sunrise as far as you know. You know, in lieu of the sunset. I mean, is it? Is there? Is there? Is there? You know, I mean, is there a reason for you know why you've always been so much more attracted to the sunrise, or or are you just done with the day by the time the sun sets? I think the, the symbolism of the sunrise. Um, and like to joke sometimes that the older I get, the more I appreciate sunrises. <laughs> uh, no, uh, there's something about that experience, almost like a, a birth experience. Uh, it's new. It, uh, I can't explain it. Yeah, you know, just did. That it's a, it gotcha, man. This is a piece that uh, uh, was purchased by a member of the Papa Nation. They're having a fundraising project next spring. And uh, the title of this is Corn Silk Moon, which is Paca for August. <laughs> This is an older piece. What's, when, 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 when's this from, how? Uh, this is uh, the 70s. Um, when I did the water image uh, exhibit with you, I think I had a few mm -hmm. of these there. And I pulled this out, I'm just kind of playing with it. Uh, I've been working with some new materials and oils. And, uh, and I'm sort of thinking of a new series, so kind of bring this out. It's an old piece I've never, never finished. But uh, still kind of intrigues me. All right, what do we have behind it? Oh, uh, that looks like a cool color, so I, I can't. I, <laughs> all your truck stops here. I, I love this series. I, I'm, uh, you know, it's, uh, now this is, what, what's this, like early 70s, mid 70s? Mid 70s, late 70s. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, tell, tell, me, tell me about the inspiration on the truck stop series. Um, well, I mentioned the, um, painting series, The Abstract of Skies, that died, and so I was really, um, I didn't know where, where to go next, and I was living in Grand Island at the time, working at Stir Museum, and one day I had a call from the Columbus Art Club to do a critique for the, the club, so it did, <clears throat> I drove over, and as I drove toward Columbus, I was really pretty depressed. Um, but they did this critique and coming back, see, I, I'd driven by this gas station during the daytime in Chapman. That was uh, a mobile station in the trucks parked outside. So coming back at night, it was absolutely transformed <clears throat> from neon flying red horse uh, in the center of the trucks lighted up. Go, wow. And that was the first time I got excited, you know, in, in several weeks. So that's my pursuit in that series. That's cool. That's uh, no, no chance of you ever going back and doing a modern day truck stop as the, the love stations don't have quite the cachet. It's, it's changed a lot. Uh, the, I love neon and uh, very hard to find. And it is. I don't like the glare of the <clears throat> mercury lights. I don't know. Anyway, that's why I pulled these two out. I still think you're uh, a new direction of reviving uh, some of the. That, it actually isn't finished. Either. That's great. As far as I got. That's great. That's great. What do you mean it's not finished? So, so are, are you gonna? Oh, okay. Would you? Would you ever go back to a paint? See, this this is a problem that I've run in with you in the past. You'll mess with the painting that you did with. That's a great painting from thirty years ago. <laughs> then you'll get frustrated and like you'll like have some bonfire and the painting will go bye bye. As I like to say, I take it up behind the barn and shoot. I know, I know. <laughs> Please do not shoot that this painting. I will pick it up and hide it from you. Yeah. Um, but uh, or yeah, God, yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, now as an artist, oh, this is fabulous, how. 
that's a nice one that's coming along. Now, okay, what, in your process, like how many paintings do you generally kind of keep juggling at once? Because I know you, you have various paintings that are in various stages of completion and, and uh, is, there, is there a process or is it more or less when you feel that painting, you can paint that painting and... Yeah, I work on usually three or four at a time. I'm seeing those now. If I'm working toward an exhibit, I'll have six to eight. And I, I work in stages and very thin layers. <clears throat> I am uh, sort of changing my te technique. I got overly textured uh, in the last few years. I'm pulling that down now. But um, I, it's impossible for me to take one painting and work it all the way through to the end and start a second one. I like to have the group um, in progress. Sometimes one will play off the other. And, uh, how, how has the current like world climate affected you? Or like, you know, the whole COVID thing, the... Uh, well, I'm quite reclusive, you know, it doesn't bother me all that much. It bothers my wife much more. Right. Much more social. We, we do go out and get out once in a while. Uh, it, it's depressing. Uh, the political scene, um, the, the COVID scene, the, the climate. We saw the big Trump flag out in your, your yard. No, he didn't. <laughs> I know, I'm just kidding you. I'm just yeah, kidding you. I'm just joking. So, yeah, this, well, this, is, this was a study uh, here. I did a commission for the uh, new VA clinic. Mm -hmm. And I saved that study, and then this is some sort of variation off that. The same feel, at least. Yeah, that's great. Now, one final question for you, Hal. How do you see your legacy in the future? How, how, how do you want to be remembered? What, what like, it's when future people are looking at uh, Hal, Hal Halon paintings and museums and, 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 and wherever in this world in the future, how do you want to be remembered as an artist? Hmm. I want people to see what I saw. Um, I can't pay a grandiose statement on it. Uh, I respond to the earth and sky, and there's a special, almost spiritual quality, especially to the sunrises. You know? And I can't have people look at the sky. Yeah. Remember how important it is, how beautiful it is. And uh, how threatening it is. Mm. Wonderful. Any any parting words of advice uh, of advice for this world? <laughs> uh, not today. Not today. All right. <laughs> well, all right. Here we are. Okay.